Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome back to the Chamber of the be Being, formerly known as Master Nord. Uh, let's GTFO. We have a headmaster to go confront. As, in the process of fighting that thing, last time, we also found out that Sid may be married to the evil sorceress. Which, you know, raises some questions. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. Uh, after... <laughs> We deal with this. Da 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 da! Leviathan. Ah, uh, let's see, what can we throw on here? Hmm. Maybe I should have. Oh no, yeah, that, that seems like a good call. Reflect would be better, but but I'd rather have a higher magic. Uh, do I? Aha! You know, I guess I don't really need elemental defense and quizzical anymore. Okay, I'll start working on something else, I suppose. Uh, throw shell on there. Yeah, now more shells comes in handy. Uh. Oh, I mean, as long as I'm not using it for anything else, sure. That stuff still looks good. And let's, uh... I kind of want that one. Although auto potion is nice. Support magic? You know, let's get support magic first. Then we'll start working on recover. Uh, I believe Ifrit also mastered an ability. So we can start on ammo refinement. And we don't need... Elemental defense times one, because we have times two from Leviathan, so we'll start working on elemental attack with Quizzle Cold. Ah, uh, let, let me think. Right, one more thing to do. We don't need strength plus 40, we need strength bonus. Kazel here, and Irvine as well, for that matter, are are both going to have really high strength stats when I'm done with them. <laughs> uh, okay then. Uh, let's go... Let's go to the infirmary, because logically that must be where Sid is. Uh, yes. Yes, I, I really think we do. I'm okay now, Doctor. Doctor? Yes, I believe I'm done crying. Well, he is the Sid is a fairly honest person. <laughs> you all see me in such an embarrassing state. What shall we talk about? Uh, yeah. Please tell me the real meaning of Seed. C to C, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. Hmm, do you know something about Seed? Seed will defeat the sorceress. The Garden will train Seed members. The many missions around the world are only for training for the final battle against the sorceress. But now that the sorceress has become a major threat, our true mission has begun. Interesting. No, I, I, I wasn't done yet. It kicked me out of the conversation, and I thought it would bring me back to- I thought it would have the courtesy to bring me back to this menu. Yeah, so, uh, explain that one, please. You're quite right. She has been a sorcerer since childhood. I married her knowing that. We were happy. We worked together, the two of us. We were very happy. You, you already said that. One day, Adia began to talk about building the garden and training seeds. I became obsessed with the plan, but I was very concerned about with Seed's goal. Then one that one day Seed might fight Adia. She laughed and told me it would never happen. But Yeah, uh tell me about that thing. He is from the Shumi tribe. A black sheep of the tribe, you might say. 
we met while I was running around trying to find funds to build the garden. He became interested in building the garden and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding, it was completed. However, he turned, he, we needed an enormous amount of funds. So we began dispatching seeds around the world as a means of supporting the garden. Norg's idea was right on the money. An enormous amount of capital began to flow. And the garden began to change. It lost sight of its high ideals, and the truth was covered up. That's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. Okay, so, let's make our report, damn it! No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess what must have happened. Well, only one thing left to ask. What do we do now? Yeah, I mean, we should probably get on that. I only hope that we can get things back to the way they were. Uh... So... That's everything. Okay then. Uh, thanks for the talk. Now what the heck do we do? <laughs> mm. I haven't been approached by anyone. Uh, what just happened? Was I paid? I might have been paid. It's hard to say. Oh! Okay, something is happening. Squall! Oh! I need to talk to the headmaster again. I need to go... <sighs> okay, one thing at a time. Fine. We'll go check it out. I have to go play against the headmaster to get my damn card. But we'll do this first. Actually, I wanted to stop by at the, uh, the classroom anyway. I tried to do it before, but it didn't let me. Hopefully it will now. Haha! -ha! Time to study! Uh, not so much. I am only really interested in... Let me think. Nope, don't need that. Um, this might be something new. Nope, still closed. Okay, this is what I actually was after. Okay, uh, yep. Hmm. There's nothing new here, is there? Hmm. Um. Sound of GFs. I've been studying up on the GF. Because I know I'll be using it more now that I'm a seed. Am I going to lose my memories? My other party members, I hope they're nice. The Garden Festival will be on hold! Come on, we're still looking for members! I think that was new. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Let's go, uh, let, let's go deal with that incident. Uh, if I can... There we go. If I can get on the damn door. Uh, up we go. Is it Galbadian? Is Headmaster Sid here? No, he's not here. Are you from... Galbadia? 
We are seeds! This is Adia's ship. We are Sorceress Adia's seed. Um, uh, We're coming aboard. We're unarmed. Oh. Cool. Please, we come in peace. We must speak to Headmaster Sid. Where is he? Oh, he came out here? Damn it! Stay in one place so I can play cards with you. Headmaster, we've come for a loan. It's too dangerous here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. Interesting. Very interesting. Please go find her. She's somewhere in the garden. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that if only Squall talked like that, right? Uh <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Where indeed? I mean, I actually know where she is. Uh, she's a person in the dream world. Renoa has never been to the dream world. Right, so like I said, I actually know exactly where she is. Uh, okay, I got paid that time. Oh, my level went down. I didn't find enough things. Oh well. I mean, I have been running around the garden a lot, so... I guess it's to be expected to s some extent. Right, let's just, uh, this should speed us up. Uh, not if I cannot interact with it, it won't. So much for fast traveling! Right, screw it, we'll just go straight there. I was going- wait, no. This is the wrong room, isn't it? Uh... There we go. The library. Alone seems like the studious- the studious sort. Right? Right? Uh... Uh... Maybe not. Are you alone? You know Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Aunt Uncle Laguna. Then tell me, what is it that we experience? I'm sorry, Squall. It's hard to explain. But one thing, it's about the past. Interesting. People say you cannot change the past. But even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Are you the one who's responsible? Are you the one that takes us to that dream world? I'm sorry. Not again. There's so much I don't understand. Why, indeed? Hmm. I'm sorry. Don't... don't count on me. Squall is freaking out. But so, the... D journey is to, a l to Laguna's world. There, it seems they're visions of the past. And they're caused by alone, although... It's not yet... Well, I mean, it is clear why she just told us, because she wants to try to change the past. But sh what she wants to change is not yet clear. Yeah, Squall really seems like he's just at wit's end. But alone said under our breath was. You're my only hope. 
Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. Is that really true though, Squall? Have you made it on here all by yourself? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, the models there were clipping through the ra railing a little bit. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, at the... Oh. A flash from Squall's past, it's, I guess. Hmm. It's a good thing I never changed my clothes. Otherwise, you're walking in on me like this all the time. You could easily find me in a compromising situa scenario. Then Renoa goes, Yes, because that's not what I've been trying to do. Uh <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's do that. This time, it's a walk. Wow, Squall, way to be a party pooper. Yeah, that is definitely true. I think it's sort of the result of his upbringing, as it were. I mean, he was basically... He was literally raised to be a child sol soldier. He, he's c kind of really bottled up. Like, really bottled up. Not well. Mm. I think it's fine to think too much as long as you have to have proper outlets for it. It would be my honor to have your company, your highness, in the hopes that I may get your mind off things. <laughs> I think Squall would probably do this, but I'm not doing that. Squall is a massive stick in the mud. But first, uh, let's, let's, uh, save. There we go. Now, 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 now. It's time to track down Sid, damn it. The line ha- the lines have been fixed, and I'm glad to be back on the air. Hurrah! Uh, what? What is happening? Oh boy, it's a slow day. Come on, give me the big one. This scene is great. Whoa, what is that? Wait, I'm, wait, I'm ca catching something for this. Get, get it, fish, get any clip. Ah, run away! Squall, this is the headmaster speaking. Come to my office. I repeat, please come to my office right away. Uh, that is terrific. Uh, so, we're... No more stalling, Sid. Everyone, please remain calm. Also, please do not leave the garden under any circumstances until you are permitted. We are trying to get things back in order. ASAP! Thank you for your cooperation. 
Ah, Squall, thank you for coming. Here are your orders. We've landed on Fisherman's Horizon. Please go ashore with Zell and Renoa. Find the local mayor and apologize for this accident. Tell them we come in peace. Take a look around the city while they're there, too. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, actually, I do. Play me at cards now! Oh, okay, well that seems reasonable. You, you still need to play me at cards, though. I demand it! I will not leave. Um, that should be fine. Trade rule diff, same, and open. Yes, that is fine. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Actually, I could have taken a freight instead of this guy, and it would have been just worked just as well. Uh, you have no, you have a six, not really, or an eight rather. Let's do this. Then that'll be the oil. No, hmm. interesting. Just sort of give that away. Uh, we have the same rule on, so I do need to watch out for that. But I think, yeah, we're we're safe. Four and an eight, one and an eight. I win. Okay, well I'll take that. And what can I turn these into? Uchu, I think. Not what I wanted though. Oh, there's time, Sid. There's time until you play the card that I want! Nope, not there. That's seven and an eight. Uh, would this be... no. This is safe, though. Mostly. Sid does have some good cards, though. It must be said. Uh, that is a 9 and an 8, which is fine. I mean, I don't think I need more screws, so... Still haven't played it, Sid. Play it already! <laughs> nope. Right, so at this point, I think I'll cut to the game where Sid actually plays that card that I want. Uh, see you in ho not too long, hopefully. Oh, I got it, but the music cut out. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, but hey, there it is. Ooh, that sweet card. Gonna need to play properly on this one. I need to pop it down right away. I mean, in fairness, I cannot actually take Cypher in that position. Uh, I could do it if I got him to play a card. It's not worth it. Okay, I can pop that right there. Is that safe? No, it is not. Hmm. Uh, I can take that safely. And then, yeah, I win! The card is mine! That is a really good card. Also, I think it's interesting that Sid has Cypher's card. Uh, right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Actually, let's end the episode here. <laughs> Join me next time, uh, when we explore Fisherman's Resin. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Balloon. Have a great day. Bye!
Thank <laughs> you.